Oh. <laughs> all right, let me just click some things here, because, all right. So a couple months ago, I did a video on the VR tank game coming out called Steel Crew. And about two, three weeks ago, it actually came out in, in, in early access. So I figured I'd revisit the video, uh, answer some of the questions that other people had asked, and do another little just kind of light overview of the Sherman Firefly here. Uh, this is a VR game. However, you can, and this is a question that's been asked before, you can play it on a flat screen if you buy it. You know, uh, and if you buy it on flat screen, you can play VR with your VR friend, or you can play it with your friends who are playing it in VR. There, it is cross-play like that. It is a PC game, though, so it's only available on computer. So if you're using anything, any, any VR headset, uh, it has to be a PC VR headset. I'm using an Oculus Quest 2 with AirLink, and because of my home setup, I, I'm four feet away from my router. I'm actually sitting on a shop stool, so I can actually just, like, completely spin around. I'm going to be careful, though, because I do have a wire, because I'm plugged into the charge cable right now. Um, but it is it will work on almost any VR headset. Uh, the game is available on Steam for I believe like seventeen or eighteen dollars US. Uh, it is still early access. There's still a lot that needs to be done. Like the textures on these buildings here are pretty pretty rudimentary. Well, that's not what I wanted to do. Well, I didn't want to reset the camera, but whatever. Uh, let's see. I can call in. So that red circle sphere there is just me. I can call in an airstrike. Uh, we can, as I'm in the commander seat, obviously. I can pull up my periscope and take a look. I don't remember which eye it is, so I'm just going to kind of alternate between each eye, get a little better zoom. Obviously, we don't have glove textures or textures on the periscope. Or not periscope, I can't do it. It's a periscope, it's a telescope. Now we can play. It is, and it just comes down and fires some machine guns. It's a good way of spotting in the enemy vehicle. And, in, and if the commander is sticking, commander or driver is sticking their head out like this, they can be injured by that. And that machine gun does do a little bit of damage to enemy tanks. We can go ahead and button up. We can actually get inside and you can see we can view around the viewports here. Uh, if I pull the trigger on this hand, I got a compass on this hand here. We've got our map. Um, very simple map. We've got a power plant, quarry, town. It's uh, conquest game mode, so each team has X amount of tickets. you got to capture the objectives. we got a little green marker there that's our tank. If there were any friendly tanks, they would have blue markers, and enemy tanks don't show up. So, and this bar right here is just our cooldown on our airstrike. So let's go ahead and switch to everyone's favorite position, the gunner. Everyone loves playing as the gunner. Cameras reset now. In the last update, uh, Bumby, the developer, he made some changes that make aiming a little more intuitive. You used to have to like basically sit here and look at your aim at your handle, but now he has uh, it just kind of mimics. It, it doesn't care where. See, I, my hand is over here, and I'm still doing that. So you don't have to be as it's not as finicky. We got our come our auxiliary site right here we've got a compass here so if the commander tells us oh enemy tank heading 60 we can traverse over You're like all right somewhere there we do have the manual crank we do have the power traverse as well we've got our elevation here we can see the gun barrel coming up going down coaxial gun there well 30 caliber i believe it's a 30 and then the main gun Now, the game doesn't support joysticks and all kinds of stuff, but if you do have racing pedals, this is at least the setup I sometimes use, I'm not using it right now, you can actually have your gas pedal and your brake pedal, or your you can have those set up to be your main gun, or machine gun, or your gas pedal and brake pedal in the driver's seat. Now, I don't remember if this was in the previous video or not, but the cannon breach does recoil, so... Which is nice. We don't have a loader position yet. Um, it is on the wish list of things, and I think there's been some talk on how that's going to work. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look through the gunner site. I remember I don't remember which eye is being captured, so there's 
the left eye, and there's the right eye. And we can traverse around a little bit up and down, and we switch eyes here, just because I, again, I don't remember which eye. Yeah. So, that's the command, or the, command, the gunner's seat. And we can power traverse, and then you actually, for being, you know, early access and a single developer, there's a lot of detail in this game. I'm just, I'm looking around inside the, the turret. I'm actually getting a little dizzy here. Whew. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the driver's seat here. It's driver's periscope here. We have our brake levers to do the individual steer brake. We actually have our brake pedal right here, our gas pedal right there. Uh, very basic dashboard, but we have our oil pressure, temperatures. These don't really do anything. Uh, this is how much damage the tank has taken. We have taken 0% damage, but as we take more damage, it will go up. This is our speedometer. That's our RPM. I really wish we could shut the engine off. You, know, you roll up into a bush, you shut the engine off, and you're just quiet. And then we have our gear indicator, and we've got our gear shifter here. You can see we can actually shift gears. And then we can also pop our head out. Alright, it would be nice... Oh, well, we can't because it's, it's got ammo storage there, so we can't have a radio gunner. Uh, let's go ahead and drive forward a little bit just to show the tank driving. We can steer. And again, if you're, if the gunner has his, or the, gunner, the driver has his head sticking out like this, he can be knocked out, incapacitated, not necessarily killed, but incapacitated from, uh, any kind of machine gun fire, either an airplane or even the coaxial on the enemy tanks. Now, the other tank that we have in the game is the T-34. Which is very similar in kind of layout of everything as the Sherman here. Let's see, can I change tanks? Can we change to it? Yeah, oh yeah, we can. I can jump in there. Go ahead and make sure we reset our camera. You always have to kind of check, make sure you reset your camera. So this is the T-34. Again, very well modeled tank. We can go inside, yep. So, similar deal as the Sherman. We've got our viewports here. Gunner sits here. Loader would be right here if we had the loader as a playable position. And then you have plenty of view, except for that little dome piece there. Kind of got to, like, uh, look around through it. Gunner's got his auxiliary sight there, and he... Power traverse there. Manual traverse here. Oh, that's elevation. Oh, they're backwards in the T-34. Yeah. Coaxial. You can see the tracers. Do you believe this gun also recoils? Yep, it's got the recoil. And let's go ahead and jump into the driver's seat of this thing. Now the driver's seat is weird because you have two periscopes, so it's like you put your head right here and it's kind of weird. But the same deal, you got your speed, RPM, your health, heading, gears. I'm not sure what that one is. Ga uh, gas pedal there, steer sticks here, and gear shifter right here. So we're in first gear, and then we can actually, there's our hatch, we can look around. That's why we're in third gear. T-34 is a little faster than the, the Firefly. It only has four speeds.
That's a, that's a quick overview of Steel Crew. Um, hopefully that hopefully that gets you interested in wanting to play it. Uh, right now the community is really small, so it's kind of difficult to find games. you got to kind of coordinate with people and everything. I'll put a link in the description to the Steel Crew Discord, as well as the Steel Crew uh, Steam Store page. I'm Kaz. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.